so it took only 0.43 seconds to perform the analysis. Now, um, before showing the result, I will create two more load combinations. So you can create, as it is a, a linear analysis, so you can create a load combination in the pre-post directly. So I will give it a name. I will call it load uh, load combination one. Here, uh, dead load one, live load one factor, and uh, uh, load combination two. And here I will give some coefficient one point two. Live load zero point five. And the last one will be the wind on y direction one point three. Click on close. Now uh now it's the time when I will show you the results. So all the results are in this uh, part of the screen. So first of all, I will show you the reactions. So click on reaction and force of the mo moment. Um, the reaction of the load combination I just created in Z direction and activate the values and the legend. Click on apply and you will see directly on the screen the values of this support condition at uh, the boundary uh, nodes. Now it's possible also to um, show the reaction force at a specific uh, so select single and uh, here in the node number pick the node on which you want to know more information and here in the message window you will have the information about this node. The next type of result will be the deform shape so you can click here in deform shape and um, select here uh, the form shape, click on apply so we'll activate uh, the section now the deformation is not uh, real so click here on this button and select the real deformation you can also uh, increase a bit the deformation using uh, the scale factor if you want to see uh, better what is happening now um, you have the same option to search displacement uh, as a s at a specific node and here in the message window you will have the information uh, about deformation at this uh, node here. Now you can view also the deformation uh, displacement control so for LBC2 for example uh, you can view the control like that you can also view the gradient field and if you want you can increase the number of colors the, you can verify the beam forces so for a specific analysis uh, load case moment and you can activate all that and see the beam forces okay I just unactivate the number of the nodes and elements to see better what is happening uh, you can also see uh, the beam diagrams so uh, for the dead load for example uh, click on apply so again I will click on the form no, I will click on control and okay uh, now if you want to see um, all that using P 
spin diagrams. Okay, so now I'll show you the forces. So, um, okay, so this is the beam diagram for the forces. Display option choose exact and solid fill. You can increase a bit the scale. Um, okay. And mm, if you want to see only deformation in one specific uh, area you can select uh, for example uh, use the selection of the plane so here plane selection here plane okay and you have activate option so it activate only certain elements and after that you can see uh, the specific results so you can use line field for example and uh, see the result at all the points now let's activate all again and click on isometric view and um, I will show you again uh, the results. So you can see the result for the stresses, the beam stresses, for example, like that. And if you want to uh, view uh, all that, in a more um, realistic view so you can go in the view menu and you have something called the render view so if you go here it is possible to move with the keys of your keyboard to see uh, the model you can also uh, fly to view the model from any angle so it is very useful when you want to text some picture of your model for example okay and activate that now the last thing to show you is the animation so um, to view the animation click on animate and here uh, you have to click on the record button and it will show you the animation for uh, your analysis. Okay, it's all for this first tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And see you next time.